You think Einstein walked around thinking everyone was a bunch of dumb shits? You say, you say that you're the worst talk show guest ever. Have you, you watched you believe them that? all? Yeah. Well, but I think, though, that there, it shows a willingness, like, it shows a willingness to be in a moment in a way, like, like the idea of not wanting to plan out what you're going to do. People say that, you know, public speaking is one of the greatest fears on everybody's list. And, and to be able to go out without even a plan, just go, I'm going to wing it. Like that, there has to be some confidence at the root of that. I feel terrified every time I do You do? It. Oh my God. I like want to die every time I do it. Hello. Hey. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. How you been? Fine. Yeah? Yeah. How what you been you? doing with yourself? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? No. no You're just no. wandering through life? You're just floating like a jellyfish? Just trying to keep it together, not do anything too stupid. Really? Um, make good decisions and be positive. Are you a nervous person or do you sort of take things very easy? Because you seem pretty laid back and unruffled by life. I'm uh, riddled with anxiety <laughs> at every moment. Really? <laughs> I don't how know. How do you do? How do you meditate or? I want to. Um, so badly. Who's stop, who stopping you, Aubrey Plaza? I don't know, myself, my brain. Oh, wow. Um, um, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Those kind of situations go against, like, every instinct in my body to, like, retell a story and act like it's the first time I've told it. But like right. make it seem spontaneous. Like there's just something about it that like my it's like a weird like thing where my body's like cannot do that, and I just like end up I don't know. I just have to like find a way to have a real moment. Sometimes that backfires for myself, and it just makes me seem insane. But like at least it's whatever is happening is real. I do like dream about the day that I can be like Tom Hanks and just be like super chill and just be like everybody loves me. I got nothing to freak out about. How do doctors like to relax? Smoking it up, baby. <laughs> Describe Kevin. Uh, he sucks. He always All right, stop, stop. Sorry, right, sorry. All right, I got it. I no. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I don't know. What's wrong with you? So many things. Oh, I don't know. Or... I'm, all right, all right. I, I don't deserve to be here. Uh, I think. I think that what you're talking about is that like, you haven't, you haven't taken the Kool-Aid of oh now that I am a famous person, I I have to act a certain way that people all do. Like like you say, like Tom Hanks can sit down and just own that yeah. persona thing. Don't be impressive. You'll just make people nervous. Oh. oh, oh. Yeah. Just and, uh, show up. Well, and by the way, honestly, why, why prepare at all? Just wing the whole thing. But in a way, yeah. I think it's much more fascinating to see a real person in that situation. I still feel like the ultimate thing would be to be able to feel super comfortable, like... You do? In that way, <laughs> yeah. And I, and I think, I, I guess I, I enjoy the fact that you're not doing it like everybody else. Yeah. Don't hit yourself in the... I don't want the other eye to... I'll hit myself when I want to. I guess you will. I don't know. I'm pretty happy. People don't think I am, though, because the way my face mm -hmm. is, I came out of the womb with a face that just naturally frowns. So, like, it, it's a lot of work for me to smile. I can smile. I do smile, but... Put on your... So what is your broadest smile? No, the gum has to come. It's good. That's very good. And then does it just clap back? Wow. Whatever is going on here, yeah. it's got nothing to do with what's going Go on, on in there. here. But today's episode is, uh, it's one of a kind. It's an actor I've admired for a long time. Uh, and I hope you enjoy it. The great Aubrey Plaza. You have this thing that I, I've never been able to, uh, figure out which is like there's this clip reel that people should watch on youtube also which is <laughs> of you on all these talk shows oh and you like sort of like like digging into the host in a way that sort of makes it uncomfortable with the host mm -hmm. and and it's so funny and i when i watch it i'm like oh she's fearless uh, like what the like i wish i could be that fearless and i'm like where does it come from okay first of all i'm never doing a talk show again and i say and i'm saying <laughs> that now mark my words
I'm never doing a talk show again. No, please, please don't say that. You don't mean that. Don't say that. Don't say that. Even if it's true, don't say that. Mark my <laughs> words. Um, because every time I do it, I'm like, all right, this time I'm just going to be likable. And then, like, literally the minute before I go on, I'm like, I'll just have a, I'll just have a quick drink. Uh, or, you know, or a, I don't know. No, I'll just not have really. a quick drink. No, no. Okay, no, 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 no. I don't do that. But, no, I have, but I have done that. But I think I don't know what it is. I swear to God, I black out every time. Very good. Are you, are you single, dating? Tell me about that. Oh, I don't date. You don't date? Okay. No. No. I'm too awkward to date, what, I think. Is... I'm kind of like all or nothing, you know. Either. Well, that's a, good, I guess. Put a baby inside of me or leave me alone. Really? <laughs> that's quite an option oh, sorry, for that first date, yeah. Yeah. So you, 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 have and you... I eat too fast. And you eat too fast? Oh, okay. I would eat really fast and yeah. then they just. just... To get the date over with? I don't know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, technically, I've been in a 10-year relationship with someone. Yeah. Actually, I dated the Swedish exchange student. Right. Then he went back to Sweden. So we technically never broke up. Oh, so, so, <laughs> so legally, you're still with this guy. Legally, yeah. in my brain. I yeah. emailed him. I hadn't even really talked to him. Yeah. I talked to him once since, okay. since we dated when I was 16. Yeah. Um, after the tsunami. Yeah. happened I called him to make sure he was alive and then I asked him if he was alive and he said yes and then um, <laughs> that was that conversation yeah oh, okay. and well, then well it sounds like a real promising relationship yeah <laughs> Wait, so we were talking about talk shows, okay, and so you're talk like, shows. the moment before you, go, before you go on you're like you, you, you just throw the script out the window I don't know. I, like I said, I feel like I black out every time. I have no plan. I There's just something about the pre-interview, because you've done them, so you know, like, that. there's something about the pre-interview thing where they call you and they're like, they had that conversation and then they yeah. record it and then they're like, and then you said this. And yes. it is kind of like doing stand-up where you're like trying to kind of hit the jokes or something, but... There's just something so unnatural about it that I think I tend to like, I just act, I lash out. Uh, Aubrey, we're big fans One of- One tiny pee from my dress. Oh, a little bead came off. Good yep. Rip another one off for Andy. I think it's the least you can do. <laughs> oh, I, no. <laughs> Thanks. That you're friends with uh, the Jonas Brothers. I don't know if they would consider me a friend. Oh. But I consider them my friends now. Well, tell me my sister, Renee, um, is a huge, huge, huge Jonas Brothers fan. Okay. She wanted to go to Vegas to go to their concert. How old is she? Um, she's 23. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, um, and. <laughs> Just curious. We all have um, interests. I don't know how to deal with it, but I honestly, to be, to be really sincere, like, I, every time I do them, I'm so nervous. Like, I'm so scared. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah. And every time I do it, I'm like, I'm never doing this again. Why yeah. are you making me do? And then I'm like, I don't have to do this. It's like, I go yeah. down a shame spiral where I'm like, what am I doing? This isn't why I do anything. This is like bullshit. And like, I'm like, an, you know, I just go like, it's so self-involved, yeah. but I just go into like, and then I think like my way to deal with that is to like, I don't know, just fuck it up, or I don't know. I've done some animal stunts. Um, like, what do you mean? Like, what animal stunts? Like, uh, you know, just um, I did a I did a horse stunt where I'm riding a horse bareback. Yeah. But th let's just do say, do you ride the horse through a car wash? Is I'm what I'm naked. asking. I'm naked on the horse. What? Not nothing. What did you say? Nothing. Wait. So you're both see. bareback. We're both bareback. <laughs> the horse is riding me. I mean... <laughs> no, no, no. I want to hear, hear about the naked horse riding. He's telling me to rap. Hey, everybody calm down. Legion, the name of it, is that a reference to uh, Christ uh, casting out uh, the, and the, the, the demon-possessed demon man says, 
My name is Legion, for we are many. Is that what the reference is? Uh, I'm going to say yes. <laughs> Sorry, but about Ned uh, Rifle, do yeah. you know what we're going to see? You're going to see me uh, playing a family stalker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's a wild ride. Uh, <laughs> Y'all should really get on, on board. And I'm um, just like in one of his there movies. It's like a weird yes, fever yes, yes. dream. Good for you. Uh, as is this. All right. <laughs> Uh, I hope we run into one another sometime. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you later okay, tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I'll call you. That's it. Call Thank you. you for watching. It seems, yeah. it just seems more truthful. I'm like, if I can have a moment of, if I can just feel like this is, we're having an authentic moment, like we're actually like, even if it's awkward, I'll take the hit. I'm like, I'd rather humiliate myself um, than um, lose my dignity. I don't know. Are you a group person? Do you like to join groups? No. Do you belong to any groups right now? Well, what do you mean? Like, self-help groups? Ski club, you know, book club? I don't think so. No. I don't think so. You like, you're more of a loner. I think so. But I am, I could get sucked into a good cult. So how old were you when you found improv classes? I think my very first improv class ever was when I was like 15 or 16. Were you comfortable with the idea of it? No. I mean, improv is terrifying. Really? <laughs> yeah, I'm still terrified by doing improv. But I just liked what came out of it. I liked, like, I loved, like, coming up with characters and being able to kind of, like, use your brain in that way. Like, it's a really challenging way to use your brain to be put on the spot and to like try to figure out what's funny about a dynamic like in five seconds. My shit talking on the court, I'd say I get, you know, really psychological, you know. I intimidate people with the things that I say that I whisper into their ear while I'm following them. And I'm also just great on yeah, defense. Like, like, I get that ball so fast. I'm just on it like a dog, you know. <laughs> I understand you're quite a good athlete, is that right? Oh, yes. What, well, what, what's your sport? I play basketball. People ask me about this a lot because I don't uh, look like I'd be good at basketball, but I'm pretty damn good at basketball. <laughs> what position do you play? I'm a point guard. Does that mean you shoot or you just set up the play? I do both, but um, I, you know, I try to assist mm -hmm. as much as I can. How many assists do you get per game? I Like none, I'm not very good. Uh, <laughs> Safety, not guaranteed. That's right. Your movie. Mm -hmm. Dominate it, you know? Yeah. Mark Dupas, Jay Johnson, any of this. Who's movie. the first person you're going to tell me? That's me. It's you. Who do you play in it? I play Darius Britt. Mm -hmm. um, she's an intern at a magazine in Seattle. and uh, Intern? That's right. Intern. Parks I, and Rec. Uh, I only accept roles where, I, where I'm an intern. That's the only... That's where I feel most comfortable. Yeah, but also, when I'm like 50 and I'm, I'll be mm -hmm. like the intern. Oh, I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. The thing about me is that it looks like there's just a storm brewing. Mm -hmm. um, it's 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 um, it's a smoke and mirrors. It's it's an, it's an illusion. I'm, there's nothing happening in here. I know nothing. I, I have terrible taste. I'm not really? actually that I smart. So. I've I can't. I don't read books. I don't. Um, I see Nicolas Cage movies and... We have this thing in common, which we both had medical issues when we were young. Oh, really? You had a stroke when you were 19. I had cancer, bladder cancer when I was 19. Oh, wow. I, you know, like, I had, like, some success early in my career, and I think part of it was, like, I was, like, oh, I might die. So I got to figure yeah. this out fast. I got to figure this out fast. Totally. Totally. It ch changes your perspective, because you're, like, oh, nothing matters? That... Great, great. It's like getting hit by a bus. It's just shit ha can happen. So, you know, what are we doing here? I don't know. So we're going to make small talk now while the credits roll. Oh, OK. But seriously, I am pregnant. And um, it's not going well because it's Ryan Gosling's. And no one knows, but um, so don't tell anyone. Um. <coughs> <coughs>